Valerie Godinez. And I'm Jose Sanchez. Oh. And I'm Jose Sanchez from UIST Public Relations Department, and we will be your Masters of Ceremony today. October was first designated as Down Syndrome Awareness Month in the 1980s and has been recognized every October since. It is a time to celebrate people with Down Syndrome and make others aware of their abilities and accomplishments. We're excited today to come together as an A-rated district to proclaim Down Syndrome Awareness Month. Let us welcome Alexander Vega from uh, Ms. Villela's class and Alejandro Lucero from Ms. Carrizales' class who will recite the, ple the Pledge of Allegiance and the Texas Pledge. As I call your name, please stand and be recognized. With the representative from Senator Judy Safrini's office, Carolina Verastegui, please stand up. Okay. Webb County Judge Tano Tijerina. She's not here yet, so skip. Okay. UISD Administrators in Charge, Associate Superintendent, Mr. Mike Garza. Chief Financial Officer, Mrs. Laida Benavides. Assistant Superintendent, Mrs. Rebecca Morales. Associate Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction, Mrs. Emma Lesa. Members of the Superintendent's Management Team, all United ISD Cabinet members present, Executive Directors of Special Education, Mrs. Laura de los Santos and Mrs. Claudia Dovalina Guzman, Special Education Directors, Mr. Joseph Lopez and Mr. Frank Gutierrez. Ms. Claudia Y. Benavides, Principal of Zafferini Elementary School. And Cassandra Garza, Parent and President of the Down Syndrome Association of Laredo. All right, and now we're going to call some, some, uh, some, some of our distinguished guests uh, to make uh, special remarks. Um, we will begin with our uh, representative from uh, Senator Zaffarini's office, uh, Ms. Uh, Carolina Verastegui. If you would please come and make some comments, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Carolina Brasti. I am the constituent liaison for the district office in Laredo. The senator could not be here, but she would have loved to be here. Uh, she is in the Senate, but did want it to be present in this event. And thank you for having us, and thank you for the principal and for everybody that, you know, prepared this, and the kids for being present, but thank you very much for having us. Thank you. All right, next. Ms. Uh, Laura de los Santos, Executive Director for Special Education.
Good morning, everyone. So again, thank you for joining us today in this great celebration of awareness and education. So the majority of us know that Down syndrome occurs when an individual has an extra panel or whole copy of chromosome 21. It is not known, it is yet not known why this syndrome occurs. But Down syndrome has always been part of our lives and of the human condition. It exists in all regions across the globe and commonly results in variable effects in learning, learning styles, physical characteristics, and in health. Adequate access to health care, early intervention programs, and an inclusive education. And let me emphasize that. Inclusive education, as well as appropriate research, are vital to the growth of these individuals. The quality of life of people with Down syndrome can be greatly improved by meeting their healthcare needs, regular checkups, timely interventions in the form of occupational therapy, speech therapy, counseling, and inclusive educational settings at all levels. This will ultimately facilitate their participation in mainstream society, and then, and the fulfillment of their personal potential. At UISD, we are committed to moving away from the outdated model of how students with disabilities are seen, how they're educated, and how they are treated. We promote and facilitate a human rights-based approach where we believe students with disabilities, such as Down syndrome, should be treated fairly and have the same opportunities as everyone else, working with us, not for us. Examples of how UISD is moving forward is by presently serving approximately 648 students in our 110 specialized units from early childhood up into graduation and to and after graduation to our charity center. Our teachers are trained and have the passion and dedication to support and make our students successful life learners. And I know in a little bit here at Seferini, we're gonna see an example of that passion and of that dedication. Our students follow a TEKS-based curriculum and also a pacing guide that was created by our own cadre of special education teachers. This is to ensure that our students are given every opportunity to succeed and learn at their own pace. Our students have the opportunity to, to participate in extracurricular activities, such as Special Olympics bowling tournaments, polar pledge events, our young athletes our program YAPS, but they also participate in, in all the school programs that our campuses have for all our students. Our district is willing, ready, and able to provide our students with the instructional, emotional, and social skills they need to be active members of our community. The mission of our special education department is to provide the least restrictive environment and inclusive practices to all our students in all our campuses. Our, depart our department motto is to educate, love, and support all of our students. And we will continue to do that until we fulfill our mission. Thank you for joining us today for this memorable celebration. Thank you, Ms. De Los Santos. Next, I'd like to call up our board member, Ms. Michelle Molina, to come in to say a few words for us. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, boys and girls. It brings me great honor and pleasure to be here today to be able to advocate, to be able to bring awareness to Down syndrome in this month. Um, as a parent with a child with special needs, I know it's not just something that happens, something that we raise awareness, something that we try to get support from once a month, but it's year round. And it's not a switch we can turn off. It's something that, that we find that support group, that we find people with good hearts, such as our teachers. Our teacher aides are instrumental in the classroom and make an impact on our students. So thank you to the teachers and teacher aides. Let's give them a round of applause.
our kids thrive when they feel that love that Ms. Los Santos says. And you can see it in them when they are working in their speech therapy, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and everything in between. You see them thrive because they feel that love. And it's my personal mission to ensure that inclusiveness, that our children are getting the services they need and we do good by them and we help them be successful. And that, that, that is my personal mission. So I wanna say thank you to everyone for being here, all our honored guests here today for supporting this very, very important uh, uh, month of awareness. So thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Molina. Next, I would like to call upon Ms. Claudia Benavides, principal of Zaffarini Elementary School. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. A special guest, parents, thank you so much for taking out of your time to come and visit with us this morning on a very special day here at our school. Uh, as you all well know, these are my kids when they're here with me. And I thank you, parents, on behalf of the administrators here and the teachers for entrusting us with your greatest pleasure. They brighten our day every single morning, every single afternoon when we go visit with them, when we see them arrive in the morning. We thank them for being here, and that is important. And I think our job as educators is not to change them to fit our world, but it's to change our world to fit their needs. And that is our job as educators. So I thank you so much for joining us today. Padres de familia, les agradezco que hayan venido hoy a ver a sus niños participar en un gran evento. También a los personales, a las gentes de la administración, de la ciudad, que han venido con nosotros hoy para este evento. La meta de nosotros o del programa de educación especial es preparar a nuestros niños para ser miembros de nuestra comunidad. Pero tenemos que recordar que el trabajo de nosotros es no... Uh, es asegurar que el mundo esté listo para ellos, que se acoplen a ellos, ¿verdad? Les agradezco que nos den la oportunidad de trabajar con ellos y que nos tengan confianza con ellos cada día. Gracias por venir. Espero que disfruten el programa de hoy. I hope you enjoyed the, the event today. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Benavides. And Finally, I would like to call up Ms. Cassandra Garza. She is the president of the Down Syndrome Association of Laredo and a parent. Please step up. Ms. Garza. Good morning, everyone. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank uh, UISD for inviting me to speak here, um, the special ed department. Ms. Benavides, the campus principal, and Ms. Villela, who is Caleb's teacher. Um, I want to speak on behalf of the community. Um, I just recently got elected for president of the Down Syndrome Association, um, and I'm really proud of that. Uh, I want to be a voice for all the parents. Um, it's not easy. Um, I got, uh, Caleb got diagnosed with uh, Down Syndrome when I was about 12 weeks. It was tough. Um, I don't know if some of the parents got the news when he was like when your child was born or pre-diagnosis, but when I found out, I started to do a lot of research. Um, I found a lot of resources. I found a lot of parents that were went through the same thing that I was going through, and it was tough. I wasn't like expecting to have a child with a disability. It was hard. Um, I read a lot of books. I reached out. Um, I'm also a part of the Down Syndrome Association um, for the national, and I do a lot of volunteering via Facebook. And I recently went to a mom retreat. It was in San Antonio where 400 moms got to stay at the JW Marriott in San Antonio Resort. And we had a lot of speakers, doctors, other parents, a lot of famous um, people with Down Syndrome that come out in movies and television and they advocate for themselves. So that's my ultimate goal for Caleb, um, is to just be part of like everyone else. I want him to have a normal childhood. I mean, I, I get mad at him, 
I, uh, when he's in trouble, he likes to steal the remote control, my cell phone, and he runs for it. But he's your typical three-year-old where he loves Paw Patrol, Bluey, he loves his tablet, and he really loves coming to school every morning. He has a smile on his face. I mean, he has his days, but he's a good baby, and I, I love him so much. He's right over there with, with the teacher aide. Um, I also want to thank the teacher aides because I know it's tough, and my son is a handful. Um, but I think us as a community, as parents, we need to really advocate, especially here in Laredo, because we don't have a lot of resources. And now that I'm elected for president, that is my ultimate goal, to be there for the parents as much as for the children with uh, Down syndrome. So if any of your parents with a child with Down syndrome don't have a group or don't have any support, I am on Facebook, um, Down Syndrome Association of Laredo. You can go ahead and message me, reach out. I have a lot of resources. We do a lot of gatherings. Um, this Sunday coming up, we are going to have our Down Syndrome walk and we will have free food. But like I said, just please contact me. I am there for everyone's support. And thank you so much again for UASD for um, inviting me over. Thank you. Thank you for those remarks. Um, we are going to have a special performance. Let us welcome a very special group of performers who will be rocking away to the tune of Sweet Child of Mine. Please welcome students from Ms. Ortegón Vielas and Ms. Carizales' class.
Let's hear it for Ms. Ortegón Villelas and Ms. Carrizales' class. Wow, what an awesome performance. Okay, and give me a sec here. October is Down Syndrome Awareness Month. The fact that sometimes has people asking, well, who isn't aware of Down Syndrome? It's true that Down Syndrome is far and away the most common condition involving chromosomes. It occurs in about one in every 691 births with more than 400,000 people living with Down syndrome in the U.S. today, according to the CDC. And many of us are at least somewhat familiar with it and have probably met at least one person who has it. The month of awareness was started in the 1980s by the National Down Syndrome Society. The goal was to spread awareness and greater understanding about Down syndrome and to promote advocacy and foster inclusion throughout the community. Down Syndrome Awareness Month is about encouraging more people to learn about this condition, to celebrate those living with it, and it's about focusing on the abilities rather than the disabilities of those with this condition. Now if I can uh, please direct your attention to the screen here, there's a short video presentation that uh, we'll be sharing with you today. When those scared of different tried to keep Macy out, 
She just wouldn't give up, nor did she help. She looked at the people on her left and her right, and with a great burst of courage yelled with all her might, Hey you, look at me. We're a lot alike, you see, but we're also each different, which is a great thing to be. Others around her realized we seemed right. They all watched in wonder as her spirit shone bright. At her school, at the park, at the dance studio, she brought the beauty of different to each place she would go. People learned to admire Macy's outlook on life. Sameness is fine, but different brings light. With brave in their hearts and with Macy to guide, the different in each one flowed out from inside. Now, it's your turn, dear one, to create a safe space. Be fearless like Macy and choose to embrace all that you are so others will see. That different is truly a great thing to be. So that's my book, Different, A Great Thing to Be. And I hope, dear one, that you know the different in you brings light to this world. So keep on shining and celebrating and embracing your differences and the differences you see in others. Thanks so much for joining me at Brightly Storytime. And that is Different, A Great Thing to Be by me, Heather Davis. I hope you enjoy. You guys want to say bye? Say thanks for joining us for story time. Assistant Principal Pedro Espinosa, Kindergarten Teacher David Sarate. Let's give him a round of applause.
performance. Thank you very much. All right. Nice. Give him a round of applause. All right. Uh, before I go on, I'd like to introduce uh, another one of our board members who has joined us, Mr. Gilbert Aguilar. If you please stand and recognize. Thank you for joining us today, sir. All right. And now it's time for our proclamation. Uh, uh, will Webb County Judge Tanoki Kalina and Laredo Mayor uh, Dr. Victor Trevino uh, please join us and uh, read the proclamation. Thank you, John. Which microphone is this one? Or that one? It's this one right here. Okay. All right. Good morning. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Victor Trevino. Before we proceed with the proclamation, just a couple of words. We are here to proclaim October Down Syndrome Awareness Month. And I'm here to say on behalf of the city that the city celebrates people with Down Syndrome. And we're making every effort to bring awareness of their uniqueness, abilities, and accomplishments. All of these start with empowering individuals and, th and their families with the support and providing resources and shifting public policy. As mayor, and as a local doctor for over 36 years, I can assure you that this is always one of my foundations and principles to advance this policy. Before we proceed with the proclamation, the joint proclamation, Judge, would you like to say some words? Absolutely. Good morning to everybody. Thank you so much for the invitation. Let me move this up just a little bit. Thank you for the invitation. It's a good honor, great honor to be here. Um, you know, different is a great place to be. It wasn't too long ago, it seemed like, I was just asked in an interview right now, what is Down Syndrome awareness? What does this bring to you? What, is it, what does it make you think of? Well, you know, I, I have to go back some years now. When I was in elementary, uh, I was a fourth grader and a fifth grader. What was the coolest thing about it was, back in that day, uh, to be able to have a Coke, a pop, I'll never forget, it was a white refrigerator with the little things you pull out, you put in 50, or I think it was a quarter, you pull them out, they were free as in Espanol, they were dead cold. But you know, the beautiful thing about it was, that was my, they offered me a job, and I didn't know what the job was, and what it entailed. And they said, you get a Coke on Friday mornings, that way you can share with everybody. Well, what my job was, was to get there before, before school started, and wait for the Down Syndrome bus to get there. And I would actually go, I will never forget, it was two of us, we'd go, we did it every day during the school year, we'd go, we walk from our front door of our school, Mitchell Elementary School in Victoria, Texas, all the way to the curb, we'd pick them up, we'd walk with them, we'd hold their hands, and we'd bring them to class. And we did that continuously. You know what was incredible was that I realized that I wasn't, at first I was doing it for them, right? But in all reality, the glorification and the honor was all mine because what was happening was that they were changing me. They were changing me to a sense where I wanted to go to school. They were changing me because they were calling me by my name when I wasn't there waiting for them in the bus. They were changing me because I realized that we we're all different. They were changing me because I didn't realize today I'd be able to speak on this behalf. And what a glorious time. So I want to congratulate the parents all of you all, for everything that y'all are going through, because different is okay. And we're all a little different, and it's okay. So with that said, if you'll indulge us with this proclamation, thank you. Office of the Mayor, City of Laredo, Texas Proclamation. Down Syndrome Awareness Month in United ISD Laredo, Texas. Whereas, approximately one in every 691 children are born with Down Syndrome, representing an estimated 5,000 births per year in the United States. And whereas, there were, two were 250,000 individuals living with Down Syndrome in the United States. And whereas, 
while research and early intervention have resulted in dramatic improvement in the lifespan and potential of those who are affected, more investigation is needed into the causes and treatment of Down syndrome. Whereas people with Down syndrome are active participants in education, occupation, social and recreational circles of our communities. And whereas individuals with Down syndrome should have equal opportunity to achieve the universally desired goals of self-fulfillment, pride in their achievements, inclusion into their communities, and reaching their fullest potential. Now therefore, by the authority vested in me, Dono Tigrina, by the virtue authority vested in me as Webb County Judge by the state of Texas, I hear you by the claim. Now therefore, I, Dr. Victor Trevino, under the authority vested in me as Mayor of City of Laredo, County of Webb, State of Texas, do hereby proclaim the month of October 2023 as Down, Down Syndrome, Syndrome Awareness Month in United ISD Laredo, Texas, Texas, and encourage our citizens to work together to promote respect and inclusion of individuals with Down Syndrome and to celebrate their accomplishments and contributions. Take a picture over here. Thank you. Bring you. Your I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Now, if we could please have uh, we'll go that way. Okay. our invited mm -hmm. guests and, and our, our, our administrators uh, please uh, step up to have a picture taken. All right, I'd like to please uh, get another picture, please, with the students if they would. All right, if the students would please come up and for, for a photo. Ready for the countdown, boys and girls? 
goes. Three, two, one. Woo! Thank you for spending this. And to all of your staff here at South Point Elementary and Special Education Start Special Education Department staff as well. Thank you all very much. I'm going to turn it back over to Mr. Sanchez and Ms. Rodriguez. Thank you, thank you, Miss Miss Lovelina. And uh, will there be any more pictures of the group? No. All right. Well, let every, everyone can be seated. All right. Well, this concludes our presentation. We want to thank uh, Ms. Claudia Navides for allowing us to celebrate this beautiful event at our campus and for opening the doors to us to the special education teachers for their passion and the endless hours they dedicate to their students and to their profession. Words will never be enough to thank each and every one of you for all that you do. Let's give them a big round of applause. Eh? That's what I'm going to do because there's a, a pre pre breakfast and coffee over here in the back in case somebody would like to partake. Thank you so much for coming and have a beautiful week. Thank you so much for everybody for joining us. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for Thank you for coming. 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 Thank you for coming.